All right, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Kelly Kalatni, and uh, today is Sunday's two o'clock free call. Uh, we have this Sunday every Sunday, unless it's a uh, Christmas or New Year's, which I think it will be soon. <laughs> but uh, welcome to today's free call. So last week we had quite the activation on twelve twelve, and today I just wanted to kind of go over what happened and support all of you in integrating it and continuing on your own to activate all of that beautiful light that came in. So um, I will be channeling today. I will bring in Raphael. I'm going to be attuning to the Syrian elders who are very powerful and they're much more accessible during these times of portal opening. So the portal opened on 1212 and energetically it stays open for a while, probably until about we hit the solstice on the 21st. Um, and it was open several days before, but we hit that pinnacle of that energy and that frequency on that day. Um, it was a little bit otherworldly as the energy came in. And I want to go show it to you visually what happened. Um, because when we are opening our light body and in the Tibetan culture, as you move into the rainbow body and you know of monks that achieve the rainbow body and after their death, all that is left, right, are their fingernails and some threads of hair. A lot of them achieve that not only through deep contemplation and meditation, but also also from visually looking um, at particular works of art that reflect the light body and attuning to that. So imagery is very, very powerful in our ascension process. And I think that's why so many people are attracted to oracle cards and things like that. They have a lot of power. And I have partnered up with Debishri, um, who is an incredible artist. And I am very excited uh, today that I had a delivery of the prototype of the Oracle deck that we have made together um, with all the key codes. And here it is. You probably can't see it, but here are all the cards. So exciting. So they're not going to be ready probably for several months because I have to write the book and um, channel all the messages that go with every card. But we're going to tune in to the cards today a little bit and maybe pull one to help us see what energy we want to attune with. And I also want to show you guys the image. Uh, this image is not in the card deck, but it was made specifically for the 1212 activation by sharing my screen, because I think it's helpful to have visual of like, what happened last week? And how do we assimilate all of that? So let me share my screen for a moment. And um share with you the image. I'm hoping you can see that. There we go. Can everybody see that okay? So on 1212, uh, we were working with the goddess Ocean. Um, and the reason we tuned into Ocean's energy is because when we tap into the 1212 <laughs> latitude and longitude on the earth, we connect to a point in Nigeria, uh, tuning to the vibration there. And Ocean works with the energy of the water. She's a goddess of the water. And water makes up a large portion of our body. And so that it's resonating with a very high frequency helps us activate the light body. And we receive this beautiful clearing and cleansing, as you remember, kind of like a washing and a letting go of the old as we unzip to our light body. And left it behind and stepped out forward, um, moving into a higher frequency. And so all, so all these light codes are uh, descending a, on the planet through many different various ways. We are absorbing them and we have to integrate them. And so it was a very powerful activation and the 12 discs were inserted. Now, as you recall during the activation and probably 80% of you fell asleep, uh, which is normal and because it's so much energy that the body just gets knocked down and you just receive it vibrationally and that's totally fine. But the 12 discs were inserted and they they were spheres, okay, at first, and then they collapsed into a, a flat disc. And then those discs are inserted into the seven chakras and then three below and two above. 
uh, for a total of 12. And then we worked with the 12 tribes of light within the 12 pointed star. And as you recall, it turned and we received gifts that were encoded within each disc. And then those discs open up into the sphere and then they start to move in the torus field. So in this image, if you look closely at it, um, and that's what's going to be so beautiful about the card deck. There's so much you can't see on my computer screen or when I have the images behind me. But when you get the deck, you'll see like Debishree has the numbers in here. And I want to go over the, the numbers that were read out loud that day during the activation because as you are working on your own to tune into a particular disc, right, that you want to really stabilize and to grow, you can recite the sequence yourself of these numbers. And as you were, and I'm just going to read it out loud in case anybody wants to write it down and work with the numbers, but it, it's working with the golden ratio in a specific way that activates the different discs within the body that were incited, inserted to open up the light body. So it was eight, five, and then we said 11, times god speed to infinity meaning it's going to infinity and beyond but we're starting with that set um eight five eleven and then we went to thirteen eight and then it was twenty two times god speed infinity and then we went to twenty one uh thirteen and that was thirty three times god speed infinity and those are the thirty three key codes that we're working with to activate ultimately the light body through the code work that I do uh, with those of you in my membership and then we go to thirty four twenty one forty four times god speed infinity and what I love coincidentally is that the card deck is 44 cards so that's when the light body moves into full completion when we've activated every aspect within the key codes so this is the image that uh, Devishri made for the code itself you can even see the the uh, numbers are written in the bottom we have the Merkabahs floating about we've got the 12 tribes of light and then if you look in the other image it's taking it and putting us within that sphere and this is so cool you see all those little dots those little orbs in the picture they she put in uh, she told me this today 144 which is the 12 tribes times 12 which is the 144 to fully activate our light vehicle um and so that is what's going on and really quick in case somebody isn't familiar with a torus field here's just a a general idea of the energy moving around the body with metatron's cube below and above us um as we're activating and bringing in the discs okay so sometimes um imagery is supportive in kind of getting a feeling like okay what the heck was that and what are we doing so i hope that you enjoyed it is it on youtube now uh, the activation is up and on youtube but the imagery is not Okay, um, so I'm going to channel today. I do have a cold. I've been <laughs> coughing a lot, and I'm hoping that's not going to interrupt the session. And so I'm going to keep it a little short. But I want to do is is go in and work with all of you in expanding the light body, opening up the discs, tuning into the Syrian elders, and the four quantity uh, qualities we want to work with today are love for self and others forgiveness for self and others, um, gratitude for self and others, and surrendering, surrendering within ourself and surrendering to others. Um, the YouTube channel, probably if you just type in Kelly, um, the angel Raphael, it should pop up. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to take the beautiful de the card deck today, and I'm just going to shuffle. We're just going to see if one card happens to have something it wants to share today. Pop out. Ah, creation. Very cool. Okay. The creation key code we're going to do mid-January. And the creation key code is about bringing in clearly into manifestation, working with the black light the womb of emptiness, the space 
of nothingness that is also everything, the zero point energy, the womb of creation. And so what we are ultimately doing is we are awakening and creating within us this new vehicle of light to move through time with and through that our ability to create is amplified so that's very cool um and one last thing before i channel i wanted to let you guys know um i'd say i think about over a thousand people have taken the star seed class with casey and myself it's probably my favorite class ever um and uh, it's accessible to give to people as a gift if you want between now and the new year it's 70 percent off so if you would like to do that i think an email went out it's a really powerful class working with the different civilizations and awakening our gifts and um it'll get downloaded and sent directly to you in which you can pass it on to somebody or enjoy it yourself very powerful stuff Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to turn off the mic and so that I can channel without disrupting things. And, um, and then we will, we'll get going here. How long is the course? It's self-guided. Uh, we did it a year or two ago, and so you can do it at your own pace, but uh, it's very, um, extensive it's it run we did it over five weeks you could condense it into more but lots to integrate um you can ask people on the chat about it who did it it was probably one of my favorites and then the, the star seed there's one star seed one and then star seed two and star seed two um is with merlin and you can get that as well and that's about creating a dome uh, to manifest and create your dreams to come true and Casey is in that yes and Casey is amazing thank you amazing course life changing yeah it's it's a great course I'm not just saying that and uh, it'll be at that price just till the first of the year all right here we go ready to channel Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We are very <laughs> delighted to be here with you in this way and to attune to all of you and your energy as we love and adore you. And it is in our recollection and understanding at the beginning in which we attune to this vehicle or body that you know as Kelly and we shared information. It was not fully recognizable or understood and yet you are assimilating this at a very rapid place across the globe as you are awakening to the divine beings in which you are. It is that the receiving of what took place last week was very powerful, and we are here today in the supporting of the integration and the merging of these discs within the Taurus field so that they can be moving at the speed in which you can integrate them to open up to the expansion of uh, what it is that you are ready to bring into formation or to into your human experience by holding the frequency that that allows you to vibrate with that in which you are wanting to create at the highest level. As we are moving into and working deeply now into the code of the Christ consciousness, it is a, around letting go, surrendering, trusting, allowing the unfolding of life to occur as you align with what we have been sharing and speaking with and attuning to, to the highest capacity of your ability with complete and absolute presence, uh, recognizing yet in the human experience where it is that you are, the personality, the triggers, the wound, the mind gets in the way of this. But as you begin to bring more and more awareness uh, and presence to it, 
to, you start to implement it. Um, and today is about implementing and integrating these energies by receiving extra light from the Syrian elders who are very present. Um, and so with that, we are asking you now to close your eyes and to drop into where it is that you are, aware of who it is that you are, a releasing of the mind, for it is the chatter of the mind, the worry of the future, the fear of the future, the ruminating of the past, the self-criticism, the shame, the guilt that is not able to fully be accessed in this new frequency, this new light body in which you are integrating as it will keep rising to the surface. And it's a willingness for you to surrender to it, <laughs> to allow it to come up so that it may be seen and it held uh, with the vibration of lava as it is then fully integrated into your field, but it is not active in a way that is out of balance with who it is that you are. And so you may have found that uh, through the activation itself, that uh, something may have been arising or coming to the surface. And with that, we are in, um, perhaps uh, encouraging you to be present with it, to be aware of it, but not to drop into the self-loathing or the criticism or the story around it, but to surrender it to the I am that I am, or in the key code to the consciousness of Christ energy, to let it go, to hand it over and to return over and over and over again to the presence of now. It is that we have spoken over time about the different keys uh, or, or components to ascension. And of course, there are infinite aspects within the fractal pattern that is operating in through and around you. And yet the vibration of love and the vibration of gratitude and the vibration of forgiveness and adding to that another today to anchor the energy in is that of surrendering, trusting, faith, letting go. Perhaps it is a similar, if not the same vibration. And so we are going to be asking you to attune to the elders as they hold that space for you and expand the discs of light as they move out into the field around you, the 12 feet diameter, the circumference around your energetic being so that as you are moving through linear time and space, holding this frequency, you begin to vibrate at this new octave, this new, in a sense, hertz frequency, this new um, way of being, and that in doing so, there is a mirror then that keeps reflecting to you anything within the discs itself that is still uh, seeking your attention to either be loved, for you to bring gratitude to, to trust and to let go of, uh, or to forgive within yourself or within another, a willingness to unconditionally really just love who you are and accept who it is that you are and accept where it is that you are now, not where you're going to be or what has happened, but where you are in the presence of now in deep gratitude for this moment right here in this presence. And even though you need to take steps and utilize the mind to take actions, to move toward perhaps in your mind somewhere else that you want to be or something else that you want to achieve or somewhere else that you want to go other than now, the doorway to that place, the opening in the spaciousness that propels you there does not happen from you landing there because you cannot be somewhere other than where you are. And when you are always projected to be somewhere other than you are, you are always operating from the vibration of lack, 
because you are not there where you want to be somewhere ahead or in the future, you are where you are. And then as you operate in lack, because you want to be somewhere other than where you are, your vibrational frequency begins to densify. And it is that in which you are seeking to create uh, often continues to feel out of reach as if it is slipping through your fingers. But as you bring full conscious awareness and presence to where it is that you are, and you begin to work with these four pillars that we're going to be attuning to today, which is love for who you are, embracing and loving self in the presence of now, in deep gratitude for where you are now that is not other than where you want to be in the future or worrying about where you have come from or what you have or have not done, but where you are in gratitude for the presence of the moment and in forgiveness to yourself that perhaps you want to be someplace different, but you bring forgiveness in the willingness to be present and that you are not pulling the trauma or the past forward into the future as it can it collapses in the presence of now it has no place to continue to expand and then moving into letting go and just surrendering i am here now in a full willingness in this presence to trust to trust however it will unfold, aligning and fully believing and knowing at the depth of your being that you are taken care of and that it is unfolding. And yes, there are timelines that you might align with that are at a higher frequency that unfold things in a way perhaps that are part of that in which you are wanting to create, but those timelines unfold at that higher frequency in your willingness to surrender to the presence of the now. And so it is that as we have activated these disks within you, as they are spinning and then they are opening and then they are operating in the torque field is moving through and around you and they are stacking upon one another into a larger field of energy that is moving rapidly. As you begin to tune into those frequencies and to feel their, their light and that vibration that is vibrating around you, you only fully are aware of it and able to totally sense and to feel its presence and the essence of the gifts received in the now. You cannot uh, access it uh, when the mind is somewhere else uh, looking ahead or when it is worrying about what was. You can only access it here. And in the access of the sequence of numbers in which we have shared, uh, you amplify that presence uh, into the God speed of infinity, where the doorway to infinite possibilities uh, opens for you as you step into the vastness of nothingness, the vastness uh, of what we call the zero point of everything and nothing simultaneously of creation itself, to birth something new through the presence of the four pillars. So, and so today, the Syrian elders, who are star seed beings of light, um, who you are familiar with, where you know them in the depth of your being, and yet you have forgotten of them. And sometimes you might feel their presence. Uh, sometimes they arrive as you're waking early in the morning or during sleep time or in the stillness or the presence of something where you're fully embraced and engaged uh, in the love of something or tuned to nature. You may feel their energy and their presence. They are glowing beings. They are very divine and wise and they are old. They are elders of great wisdom. They are wisdom keepers. And they have the ability to come and to share with you and to uh, place upon you or to gift you certain qualities that already are within you. They do not give you something that you do not have, but they mirror and reflect it from the frequency that they hold, that you may see it within you and not only give it to others, uh, as one would perhaps see would be the greatest service to humanity, but to give it to yourself uh, through loving and adoring who you are in the presence of now. And so with that, we ask you to take a nice deep breath. 
And as you are breathing, to begin to tune into the breath, for the breath is a vehicle to the light body. As you become fully aware and conscious of your breath, for you are breath, or without the breath, uh, the body dissolves, uh, the soul remains, uh, the light remains, the essence uh, flourishes, but the body falls. And so as you are in the body, it is a way to integrate the light and to breathe it literally into your life force, into who it is that you are. And so as you are bringing your awareness to your breath, become aware of awareness itself. Can you be aware of awareness? It is not tangible, and yet it is you. You cannot hold it or define it, for it is consciousness. It is the observer. It is the energy, the essence behind the personality, behind the story, behind the timeline. It is uh, who you are. Some may label it as your soul. Whatever word you're wanting to attune to it, but it is awareness itself. As you're tuning into awareness, allow the awareness of who you are to become aware of your light body. This uh, aspect of who you are is beyond the flesh. It is the merging the matter and the spirit. It is attuning to the integration of all of these energies. Become aware of that. Bringing your hand now to your heart. Become aware of the energy around your heart. Aware of the quality of that energy. See if you can feel it radiating out of the heart. Just sensing it. Aware that a disc has been placed there. And this disc is expanded now. And it is moving. It, it goes out 12 feet to, in diameter around you. The circumference around where it is that you are. See if you can sense the disc. It is of a plasmic golden light liquid energy. It might feel a bit wobbly or it might feel that it is spinning quite steadily. Just to tune to its energy. See if you can feel it there and expand it. Become aware of the light within the heart. It is amplified in your willingness to love who you are, to adore yourself, to see the mirrored reflection and love in the fractal patterns of life itself that is everywhere, mirroring to you whatever vibration you are holding or carrying in any moment. Aware of that energy and that disc, we're going to drop the energy down as if the disc is falling down an elevator shaft through a cylinder that is the pillar of light that moves through you. And as the disc begins to drop, feel it move down as if it is dropping into your solar plexus. Aware now of your solar plexus, aware of the energy that is there. Feeling the quality of it that it is different than the heart. It is a bit heavier. It is vibrating with a different frequency, but there is a disc there. Feel the expansion of it. Notice if it is steady, are you in your power? Are you moving with conviction and clarity through time? Or is it wobbly? Are you unsure? Are you feeling that you're not enough? That you're less than? Tune into where on the scale you're vibrating in your power center. And just be aware of it, allowing it to expand, to spin in the direction it is needed 
to vibrate at the highest frequency and to attune to its energy and allowing it now to drop again, coming back, coming down into the sacral area, aware of the frequency there, feel the vibration there. Notice what it is like in the sacral area, allowing the energy of the golden disc to expand. Aware if it is wobbly, if it is steady, is your creativity flowing? Is your sexual energy moving? Are you bringing forth new ideas? Are you implementing those ideas? aware of your energy here, dropping that cylinder, that disc-like energy down again into the root, grounding yourself on the earth. Are you connected to the mother, the great mother? Are you grounded in the presence of the now? Are you aware of the elements? Do you sense the fire and the water, the air and the earth? Do you put your hands in the earth are your feet ever bare upon it Do you go in the water do you feel and sense it and allow it to clear and to cleanse you are you attuned to the earth uh, to the cycles to the rhythms to the trees the sunlight uh, the sunset the night sky or are you disconnected in somewhere else aware of the stability of the center do you feel safe in your conscious awareness of your discs uh, and how stabilized or unstabilized they are, you may utilize the sequence, the sequence of the ratio which we have shared and described with you to amplify their vibrations, to stabilize them, to increase their vibration. Dropping down again even further, tuning to that of the indigenous ones. Remembering the time in which you walked on the earth in many lifetimes barefoot, uh, climbing the trees at a rapid pace, uh, jumping over water, standing on the rocks and moving very quickly, navigating yourself through nature, through the woods, through the stone, um, connected to the elements uh, even more deeply, attuning to the plants, uh, aware of the light coming off of the plants, aware of the medicine in the plants, knowing with your hand where to go and what to connect to, attuning and sensing with the animal kingdom, the symbols, the synchronicity, the signs from the hawk or the snake or the bird flying by or the wolf howling in the night. How connected are you to that disc now? Are you aware of that awareness? Tuning beyond that, dropping down even further now into the crystal kingdom, the times in which you walked as Lemurians and being the tune to the crystals and the dolphins and the whales, all of this energy connected, feel that disc, notice its color. Is it more silvery? Is it shimmering? Is it changing? Is it growing? Can you feel when you hold a crystal, its energy, the library of information, the vibration within it? Is that disc for you stabilized or are you disconnected from that? Have you forgotten? When was the last time you attuned and held that within your hand? And connected uh, with the Lemurian vibration. Perhaps you are a keeper of that, attuned to the whales uh, in the water, noticing them or the dolphins, or perhaps that is not part of your experience, recognizing and attuning to that frequency, dropping down even further all the way into the core. As you move into the earth stars, it opens up a passageway into the fifth dimension perhaps you are beginning to vibrate with the disc in the fifth dimension where other worlds are bleeding into the world that you know to be now as you are seeing the beauty and the light the perfection the divinity the oneness the fabric and the unity of love amongst all things as the new earth is born and you are a pioneer moving with it as it has already arrived and you are becoming more familiar with it as it bleeds into this experience, attuning to that frequency and becoming aware. 
How connected are you to that? And now rising through all of those discs back to the heart. Noticing that they are opening into a toric field that is stacking upon itself into one energetic field vibrating around you as you rise into your throat. Connect there. Become aware of your words, the sacredness and the vibration of sound, the ability as so it is for it to be true as it creates your experience reflecting back to you. Do you speak harshly or loudly? Do you gossip? Is this energy calibrated to the highest frequency of the sacredness of the word? Do you sing as light language coming through with grace and ease or is it blocked? Allowing this energy to open, feeling the disc continuing to expand and to vibrate at the highest frequency, rising up into the pineal gland, opening up and going into the center of the third eye as it opens into the doorway, the space within the pineal gland, the room, the seat of the soul connecting uh, with higher realms and dimensions, uh, awakening deep gifts within, attuning to that disc, uh, recognizing, is it open? Is it activated? Is it calcified? What frequency is it vibrating? Is it been expanded? Yes, into the 12 feet diameter as it is spinning. And how may you want to stabilize and activate it more, rising above that to the crown, like a halo above your head. Feel the disc expanding there, aware of it uh, and your centeredness uh, as a string passes through, holding you up in an erect standing point in the power of who you are to the heavens. Are you open to the frequency and the connection to the divine? Are you aware? Do you sense? Do you feel our energy? Moving above two more to feeling those discs even beyond that into higher octaves of color, sound, vibration, geometry itself. Taking a breath now and aware of your personal light body and aware of the areas perhaps to bring your attention where it is stabilized and where it may need your stabilization. With that now, being aware of awareness itself. See if you can tune into the awareness that there are four Syrian elders that are here. They are not confined to time and space, nor are they confined in the way you are within the body, for they are with all of you simultaneously, standing with you. Begin to sense them. There is one in front of you to the left, tuning in to their energy. Notice that they are glowing. They are glowing orbs of light, and yet they come in the form of a body. And that body is glowing. They are wearing robes of beautiful white and golden light. Feel their presence. There is one in front of you to the left, one in front of you to the right one behind you to the left, and one behind you to the right. They are moving out now so that they are 12 feet away from you, standing in four corners around the golden disc. As they bring their light, they anchor it all the way down into the core and up into the heavens, like pillars of light that are anchoring the discs around you, holding them in place as they begin to stabilize your energetic field. Bringing your awareness to the Syrian elder now to your left, begin to attune to its energy, noticing that it is glowing, pulsating in and out, sensing that glowing energy 
and its light coming toward your heart like a beam of light directly at your heart. This particular elder is holding the frequency today of love, the most important frequency of all. Allow yourself to receive love from this elder, to open up to just receive complete, absolute, unconditional love, and to take your own hands and to hold yourself and to just say with your name afterwards, I love you. I love you. Allow yourself to love yourself, releasing all judgment. In the presence of this moment, I love you. Allow yourself to be open to receive this love from the Syrian elder as he is glowing and that love is moving through you like a wave of light at a very high frequency. This wave is bombarding your heart and as it does so, it is like throwing a pebble into a pond. It reverberates out into all the discs as it is being encoded within every disc, the vibration of love itself, which ultimately in itself stabilizes all the discs to be spinning in their divine perfection in an awakened torque field, vibrating light in resonance with the frequency of love. See all of your discs turning up turning higher in frequency and see the light becoming brighter and brighter as you are more willing and willing to receive love. As that love frequency and those waves are bombarding you, the Syrian elder holds out his hand and from his hand light is coming like a spiral toward you. For the bombardment of light is coming from one hand and now two and his heart as he is sending it to you. Just be in receiving of that love as he knows that it is moving through all of the discs. And as that is happening and it continues to happen, bring your awareness now to your right. Attuning into the Syrian elder that is here. This elder is holding the vibration of forgiveness. This is a very different frequency. And the waves of light have different peaks. And they operate at a different level. But they are being sent to you as well. Asking you in this now moment. If you are willing to just forgive yourself. For any transgression in which you may be holding on to, harboring, or being hard on yourself, or criticizing yourself for, or ruminating about, allowing the vibration of forgiveness to move through all the discs, especially into the throat center, as his energy is sending this frequency. He is inviting you to attune to anyone in which in this now moment, in order to stabilize your gift and your discs, you are willing to just forgive. Noticing their essence, attuning to their awareness, to their spirit and soul beyond that of the personality. Moving beyond that into their essence and moving into a frequency and a willingness to forgive, to go beyond your contracts, your soul agreements, behaviors, triggers, traumas, to the soul as your soul and theirs meet, that you drop and allow those agreements Allow those triggers, allow those traumas, allow those moments 
to fall away as you begin anew, opening up spaciousness for true forgiveness, allowing the Syrian elder and you and your energy to receive the wavelengths of forgiveness for self and others. This elder's frequency is coming in at a different octave than love. The waves are a bit uh, tighter, but the waves are flowing through and they are vibrating as they move through your heart in your open and willingness to forgive. This light is coming through the throat center of the Syrian elder. Just allow the light to pass through as it moves toward you and hits whatever disc within your being that is open into receiving forgiveness. It may be in the sacral area or your heart. It could even be in the crown or the root, or it may be in multiple places in every facet of your being. Just allow that frequency and your ability to forgive to pass through and stabilize your discs. As this is happening and it will continue to receive both the frequency of love and forgiveness, you may move now to the vibration, bringing your awareness to the energy behind you, to your left, to the Syrian elder here. She is very beautiful, sense her vibration. She is vibrating in the color more of a pink hue with a very open heart as she is glowing in and out, carrying the frequency of gratitude. Her gratitude may stabilize any disc within your auric field, expanding it to the 12 feet diameter, allowing it to fully spin in its perfect direction opening up the spaciousness to move into the higher aspects of your light being through deep gratitude for the presence of those in your life that love you, for the presence for all the blessings bestowed upon you, for the willingness to simply accept these blessings and to receive them without resistance, but with gratitude. For you have created these blessings and they are here because they are mirroring a willingness for you to receive them in that you love yourself enough to feel that you are deserving of them. And in your recognition of them and bowing to them within and through you, they amplify and multiply for gratitude is the key to creation, the key to abundance as it expands through you. Dropping into gratitude now. Begin to attune to three things or three people or three moments in which you have felt deep gratitude. Or perhaps you knew you should feel gratitude and you resisted it. And now you're willing to open the heart through the love that is coming in from the other elder, the forgiveness that has arrived, that you can just be in gratitude. Feeling and sensing that now. As the beams of light that are coming from the third eye, and they are also moving in through the root as they create, create like a triangle, piercing through your solar plexus, with pink light that is expanding through all things. May you receive the love and the gift of gratitude as these waves of light are bombarding you in three directions now, bringing your awareness to the frequency and the energy behind you to your right, holding the vibration of faith, trust, surrender, letting go. A similar frequency with different words. Can you let go of controlling the outcome of your experience? Can you fall into the arms 
of the I am that I am that is you, the highest part in trusting in life, trusting in the universe or God, whatever word you are wanting to use, just letting go, knowing that you are more than the mind, more than the body and the flesh, that you are a divine being of light. Can you trust in that light? This aspect with the willingness to receive it, to let go and to fall into it, to fall back in the trusting that you are taken care of, that you are safe, that everything is unfolding as it needs to for the highest good in this divine moment. Stabilizes the disc, amplifies their light, spins them into the higher frequencies. This is a green light that is coming in today for surrender. As I am holding it as Archangel Raphael for you, along with that of the Christ Consciousness key code, feel the presence, feel the hands that are large on the elder, and allow yourself now to do something you haven't done with the other elder. You're in an upright position, feeling the presence behind you of the vibration of surrender, trust, faith. Feeling the presence of that energy in alignment with the I am that I am, the elder of light that is an aspect of you, but is also a great protector. See if you can let go now and fall back as if you are falling off a cliff into the arms of the large hands of this energy that is catching you. Falling into it, dropping back, being held and cradled in the arms, the fabric of creation itself, knowing you have always been supported up to this moment, and you always will be, you are safe, and you can let go and trust as life unfolds as it will. And so it is. And now the waves of light coming in from the elders begin to integrate within all the discs. And they are all operating and stabilized, inviting you to use the codes and the sequence of the numbers spoken to amplify and stabilize them into even higher frequencies as you bring your conscious awareness to them and to what aspects are seeking your attention. And with that, now we have integrated the work of the 12 12 22 portal light body activation fully integrated and expanded as we continue to work tirelessly with all of you in activating the codes the key codes that turn on the light body expanding it even further and wider as you become fully awakened conscious beings operating within 5d and with that i send to you all of my blessings, all of my love, all of my gratitude, all of the forgiveness. Trust in yourself and in the divine and in me. All is well and so it is. Many blessings and good day. Wow. With that, you may begin to start to come back and bringing your awareness into the presence of now. Aware of awareness itself. Turning your head left to right. Moving your shoulders and your arms if you would like. 
I want to thank you for participating in that integration. If you fell asleep, that's okay. You still receive the downloads. Very powerful and important work we're doing. If you want to continue to work with me in the key codes, become an I am member. And I love you. I hope you have a beautiful, well, I see you before the holidays. I don't know. I got to look at the schedule. <laughs> um, I will see you soon though. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. If you want to deal deeper into the work, do the Starseed class and enjoy it and the depth of my being. I hope you really love it. All right. I am going to unmute everybody. Call it a day. Thank you, Kelly. Thank, Thank you, you, Kelly. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. That was amazing. Love, love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't believe it. I really connected. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. God bless. Thank you so much, Kelly. Love you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Beautiful. Happy holidays. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kelly. It was amazing. I can't even believe that one. Thank that was powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kelly, it was very, very amazing. It was deep. Good. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Kelly. Bye. 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 Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm real. I'm going to hang up. Love you. Bye. Bye.